blessing saints good afternoon good afternoon welcome in glory be to the lamb of god hallelujah saints good afternoon i trust that you're all home safe hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah and our topic for today is when Paul charged to Paul charge to Timothy. Glory be to the Lamb of God. The righteous and loving Father, I thank you for bringing me home safe. I thank you for this day. I thank you for being in the presence of you with brethren. Lord, I thank you for everything. Glory be to the Lamb of God. I back back and bind up everything that is not of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show up and show off, Lord. Let this life go easy. Let us learn your wisdom, knowledge, and your understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. In this title, Paul lay out both the problem and Timothy's prosper, proper response to resolve, glory be to God, to the trouble being caused by the false teachers at Ephesus. Glory be to God, 1 Timothy 1, verse 1 through 11. Glory be to the Lamb of God. We've reviewed the background of Paul's first letter to Timothy, who was a young preacher working at the church in Ephesus, which seemed to be embroiled in controversy over erotical teachers promoting Gnostic, hallelujah, Gnostic ideas. Gnosticism was a mixture of concepts and practices taken from the philosopher pagan. Hallelujah. Mysticism, Judaism, and Christianity, which were brought together to form a new and, as some thought, superior form of the form of doctrine replaced in the gospel which Paul had originally taught these brethren glory be to God Paul writes to Timothy which is with his own mix of encouragement challenged and teaching in order to help him confront those false teachers hallelujah organize the church and prepare it for service in peaceful harmony hallelujah revelation 1 verse 1 to 2 greetings to the seven churches glory be to the lamb of god paul an apostle of christ jesus according to the commandment of god our savior and of christ jesus who is our hope to timothy the true child in the faith grace mercy and peace from god the father and christ jesus our lord glory be to the lamb of god paul introduced himself as an apostle of jesus in the circle of by the command of both god and jesus this established his authority his teachings and the source of both very early in the letter he introduced the idea that christ is our hope worthy of our trust as opposed to trusting in some sort of secrets knowledge or teachers they establishes the credibility 
and the integrity of Timothy, the recipient of the letter whom Paul blessed. The idea of, of a true child not only denotes their closeness, but also the fact that Timothy was trusted to represent Paul in spiritual matters as well. The blessing that he give includes one, it includes grace, glory be to God, favor or good things like past forgiveness and a future. Two, mercy, glory be to God, pity and compassion. And the third, peace harmony between God and man as well as peace between men and themselves glory be to the Lamb of God with his opening lines Paul does the following declares his own inspired authority which is derived from God himself glory be to the Lamb of God confirm Timothy's charges to teach offers a blessing on the evangelic and the ministry he must fulfill at Ephesus. glory be to the lamb of god the letter has the same charge to the preacher today hallelujah giving them the same authority to instruct correct and build up the church as it did for timothy when it was first sent to him paul and timothy glory be to the lamb of god paul charges to timothy paul now turned to address timothy directly and charged challenged him concerning a career carrying out of his ministry especially concerning the false doctrines being taught at Ephesus. hallelujah saints make sure you are receiving sound doctrines not false one glory be to god timothy remind of his original charges to instruct certain men not to teach other doctrines than had to be taught by the apostles some gnostic teachers were straying from the teaching of christ and the apostles and timothy was to rebuke them for this and demand that they stop spreading their false ideas nor to pay attention to the myths and the endless hallelujah genealogies which give rise to mere specular spec speculations glory to god rather than furthering the demonstration of god which is by faith glory to god He gives a brief description of the type of teaching not to listen and to remind Timothy that godly teaching is restricted to matters that develop faith and knowledge of God's word. Paul makes a brief reference about the myth and endless ge genealogies. Hallelujah. These Jewish myths were not part of the inspired scripture, but rather a king of speculation regarding the genealogy found in Gnostic genealogical tables. These discussions did not produce the spiritual virtues of Paul that Paul mentioned in the following verses. But the goal of or instruction is to love from a pure heart and a good conscience and the sincere faith glory be to god says do you have sincere faith are you loving from a pure heart are you following the lord instructions today 
glory to God, the acid test for the teaching of the true and godly doctrine was the development of love as a direct result of that teaching, the fruit of proper teaching from true teachers, Paul says, will be, glory be to God, number one, a pure heart, a clear mind, and an unwavering heart. Number two, good conscience. One whose conscience is clear because of the trust in God's grace and the righteous lifestyle. Glory be to the Lamb of God. And the third is sincere faith. A solid faith and assurance nourished by God's word. Not secret knowledge. Hallelujah. Debates, pride, and vision. The visions are not the fruit of solid teaching from approved teacher. From some men strained from these things have turned aside to fruitless discussion. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Some teachers who were on the right path have been distracted, Paul says, and have been caught up in this false teaching they have turned aside means that they have left Christ's teaching in order to come campaign this new knowledge which Paul say is simply a waste of time glory be to the Lamb of God saints make sure whatever knowledge you are receiving it is of God it is lined up with the word of god hallelujah make sure it's in line with the word of god make sure the the knowledge that you're receiving from a pastor it is sound doctrine it is all truth glory be to the lamb of god or else you may go astray wanting to be teachers of the law even though they do not understand either what they are saying or the matters about which they make confidence assertion glory be to the lamb of god it seems that the gnostic teachers desires was to become something other than christ-like we ought to be christ-like Glory be to God and a false teacher is not Christ like they're, they're working from an unfamiliar spirit. The teachers of the law refer to rubbish of the Jewish religion. The Gnostic teacher want to assume this type of position and thus create a role of authority for themselves within the church teachers of the laws were not the same as judasers or the circumcisions parties who thought that you had to become a jew and therefore be circumcised before you could become a christian this teaching was contrary to what Jesus required and taught by the apostle in Matthew 28 18 to 20 and Mark 16 verse 15 to 16 glory be to God teachers of the laws in this case refer to those at Philippi, Philippi who were using certain ascetic practice found in the Jewish law such as food or marriage restrictions as part of their Gnostic doctrines over which they become a teacher, arbitrators or a Christian rabbis. Glory to God. But we know that the laws is good if one use it lawfully.
call the former Pharisees an expert in these matters explain that the law was given for specific purposes but in certain cases could be used incorrectly these Gnostic teacher had formulated a new doctrine which was foreign to apostolic teaching in that they were binding certain aspects of the law on Christians. On this was incorrect, realizing the fact that the law is not made for the righteous persons. Glory to God. Paul therefore goes on to explain some of the purpose used in the law. Ten commandments and the ordinance contained in the Old Testament to reveal the nature of sins. Romans 3 verse 20 and Romans 7 verse 7 to reveal the punishment for sins. Romans 6 verse 23 and the third one is to reveal God's justice obey live disobey die glory be to the Lamb of God the law was never given as a means to justify oneself before God it was designed to reveal our unrighteousness and our needs for God's forgiveness and mercy. But for those who are lawless and rebellious, for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and profane, for those who kill their father and mothers, for murderers and immoral men, and homosexual and kidnappers and liars and perjurers glory be to God Paul continues to show that the law is not this directed to those who are saved Christians are under the principles of grace not the principle of law glory be to God under the principle of grace God repeatedly forgive our sins bearing with our weaknesses promises and transform us into perfect spiritual beings hallelujah at the same resource hallelujah to the Lamb of God resurrection and acts that the trust is in Christ and remain faithful unto death. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Under the principle of law, if you sin once, you are condemned. Anything less than perfection is unacceptable. You are saved and receive glory only if you do not sin. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Paul therefore emphasized that the Christians are not under the law because the law is designed for godless, unrepentant, ignorant sinners. He then go on to give an example of the type of people that the law will judge. Glory be to the Lamb of God. First, lawless. Hallelujah, the Lord will judge. The first one is lawless or lawlessness lawless those who know the law but act without concern for it the second disobedient rebellious individual spoiled undisciplined those who refuse to obey the law the third is ungodly those who are irrelevant glory be to God impious and without respect for spiritual things and irreverent glory be to God the other one is sinners wicked evil and immoral the other one unholy totally devoted to the world profane those who ridicule spiritual and holy things 
murderer or of parents self explanatory and this other one is man slayers slayers like someone who is violent unkind oppressors aggressive they are man slayers immoral person all kind of sexual sin immorality glory be to the lamb of god the other one is sodomites faggot gays bisexual homosexual bestiality translate into english as a homosexual but the bible has no word for homosexual therefore it simply describes the action involved in these unions the other kidnappers slave traders and the other liars hypocrites dishonest first john 2 verse 4 first john 4 verse 20 perjury being false with the intent to injure someone else not keeping vows glory be to the lamb of god this is not a complete list of sin but rather a representation of the kind of people and sin that the law will reveal condemn judge them and punish them glory be to god and wherever else the contrary to sound teaching according to the glorious gospel of the blessed god with which i have been entrusted paul completes this section by saying that aside from this list of sin god will condemn and punish those who teach anything else other than the gospel given by christ jesus and thought by the apostles glory be to the lamb of god the point he make here is that any system of the philosophy or regions which promotes any other way to come into communion with god other than salvation obtained through faith in jesus christ will be judged condemned and punished under the law as something sinful paul in his charge to timothy confirmed the idea that only the gospel given by god to christ who then taught in it to the apostles is valid teaching in saying this paul makes two part important point glory be to god and the first one is he is he established timothy and his teachings hallelujah and legitimately coming from god and the second is he condemned the teaching of teachers of gnostic as false prophets false teachers false leaders glory be to god nothing has changed since lessons nothing has changed two thousand years after the letter was written the sin are exactly the same the punishment is exactly the same and the way of the ways of salvation is exactly the same however there continue to be various solution to the sin problems offered today that still keep god and the cross of christ out of education we need to educate ourselves in the lord learn knowledge about the lord the gospel is our only response i'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of god unto salvation romans 1 verse 16 we can't be ashamed of the gospel we can't be ashamed of truth 
The truth is an offense, but it is not a sin. Glory be to the Lamb of God. There are many young Timothys in today's generation. Many of us are young Timothys in this generation who are insecure in, in their faith, thinking that they are not match for the sleep. Hallelujah. Of our times, or the apologists who embraced a universal spirituality with no reference to Christ. There is, however, nothing new here or changed since the beginning. So it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. The word of God said, we still have the same cost of sin, unbelievers and righteous frauds who promise heavens without the cross of Christ and lead the ignorance into greater darkness. Can the blind lead the blind? No, will they not fall in the same ditch? Glory be to God. Be Hallelujah. We don't need to prove anything. Hallelujah. To anyone or disprove anything to those who have another religion or task like Timothy. Hallelujah. Is to seem to proclaim the gospel and live our lives faithfully in order to confirm that we actually believe what we preached. The temptation to outsmart or or out to the debate or to deconstruct everyone else's ideas about the religion, spirituality, or the devil's way of immobilization. Glory be to God. Us with the fear of the ridicule and self doubt. We've been sent to proclaim and to explain our faith, not other people. Wash your clothes, says, watch you make sure your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. Pointing fingers. Yet you're not sure where you stand with Christ. This is saying, we've been sent to proclaim and to explain our faith. Our faith. You have to sit on your own tub at the in front the beam of judgment we've been sent to proclaim and to explain our faith not judge others hallelujah hallelujah about religion paul wasn't ashamed because he knew that the gospel message message itself had the innate power to reach everyone from the pure Jews and the most worldly Gentiles. As a Christian, we have only one response to question, challenge, and ridicule, and that is a simple message of the gospel proclaiming the love. If we have answered in this way, we have fulfilled the charge given to us by Christ to preach the gospel to all the nation Matthew 28 verse 18 to 20 glory be to God what are the major elements of Paul's opening statement says of Timothy and what it is impacting. First Timothy 3 verse 4. Hallelujah. And first Timothy 1 verse 9 to 11. Glory be to the God, the Lamb of God. And first Timothy 1 verse 1 to 11. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. You may feel down and feel like God 
has somehow forgotten that you were faced with circumstances that you can't get through but now it seems that there's no way out you're going on the God's proven time and time again he'll take care of you he will do it again he will do it again just take a look at where you are now and where you've been well it always comes through for you he's the same now and then don't you know god has not changed you may not know how you may not know when but he will do God knows the things you're going through and how and he knows how you're hurting you see he knows just how your heart has been broken in two but he's the God of the stars the sun the sea he is our father he's proven time and time again he will be there for you you see he can calm the storm and he'll find some ways to fix it for you oh he's still the god and he will not fail you oh he's still the god and he will not change no he will do it again for you he will do it again hallelujah to the lamb of god remember saints the lord will do it for you he will fix it for you hallelujah just like he fixed it for moses for daniels for shadrach for meshach for abednego just like it fi he fixed it hallelujah for the woman at the well for he fixed it for the woman with the issue of blood for he sit, fix it for the blind and the lame glory be to god for he fixed it for you and i he will do it again remember do not give up on the lord for he will never give up on you and we come down to a close right now saints god bless you and remember walk and drive safe in the mighty name of jesus pray before you leave wherever you are leaving ask God to protect you with all that is going on murder killing accident suicide and all those things glory be to God ask the Lord to set your good part straight in the matchless name of Jesus I love you with the love of Christ saints remember the Lord love you first glory be to the Lamb of God Shalom Shalom